Michael Fabricant. Question 14, sir. Uh, I'm sure my honourable friend will want to join me in saying how pleased I am with the economic growth that we've seen in the West Midlands combined authorities area. Outputs increased 27% over five years, productivity increased at twice the national rate last year, and employment has increased since 2011. And I think that the West Midlands combined authority shows precisely what a local, visible, innovative leadership can do, uh, and how it can be the key to building a strong economy and a fairer society. Michael Fabrican. With the Prime Minister's active encouragement, the Mayor of the West Midlands was elected in May 2017, and she has supported him and the region ever since. Over £2 billion, Mr Speaker, has been given to the region by the Prime Minister in form of grants and guarantees for transport and so many other worthwhile projects. So on behalf of the people of the West Midlands, may I thank her and may I also ask that she continues in Parliament as a strong advocate for local devolution. Can I say to my honourable friend, I remember the conversation I had with Andy Street when I was encouraging him to stand for the mayoralty of the West Midlands, and I'm very pleased that he did, and he has been delivering for the people of the West Midlands ever since his election. Uh, Can I also thank my honourable friend for highlighting the excellent work uh, that we have done for the West Midlands. Government working with that combined authority shows the benefits of the very local devolution that my honourable friend has referred to, and I think this is a very good example of what that innovative leadership, that visionary leadership, can do at a local level and improving the lives of people.